local watering hole, always a good place to start. Then why didn't we start here? Instead of setting up geophones before eating. Without those geophones, we'd be flying blind. Better to eat later than be eaten sooner. They're flying blind, yet they seem to be eaters, not EDs. They're geologically fortuitous. The town's on bedrock, graboid proof, but the surrounding area is vulnerable. Grab us the table. Try not to offend the fortuitous locals. You have to go again? Oh, no, you're kidding. That's ridiculous. And they told Irene Escovedo she should check every drunk tank in the state before she declared Pablo missing. Sounds like they do Pablo. Oh, Brad. <laughs> Cover-up's bad enough. Do they have to insult people's intelligence and hurt their feelings, too? That's how they do it. Spoken like a man who's familiar with the turf. All too well, sir. All too well. Let me get you a menu. Welcome to Helen's. I'm Red Landers. My wife and I own the place. Uh, Bert, you, uh, you must be Helen. Uh, uh, Rosie. Uh, we took over the place after Helen. Well, after Helen disappeared, so you've heard all the official party lines. What do you folks think happened to your neighbors? Well, if you ask Rosie, uh, she'll tell you it's the alien problem and that the government won't do anything about it. They don't even want to admit we have an alien problem. I'm all for someone seeking a better life, but not to the detriment of law-abiding Americans. Absolutely. Protection is all we're asking for. It's all any of us ask of our country. Protect our borders. Keep us safe to live our lives as we see fit. You're here. If some people want to visit the mothership, that's their prerogative. Absolutely. Uh, the, the mothership. But they must be returned safely. What's happening now is wrong, and we're defenseless. Yeah, Cecil thinks the mothership might arrive soon to return our loved ones. That's just Cecil's grief talking. The man is in denial. talking about space aliens. Of course. Uh, Bert, I gotta talk to you. Uh, they think aliens abducted their citizens. Uh, I know, and uh, the local paper says they're trying to communicate with them, which is what I want to talk to you about. You're all nuts. He said something like that. Nuts! Remember what I said about offending the locals? Did he just call us loco? No, no, I, I said locals. No, I think you were right the first time. I beg your pardon. That's my wife talking. Oh, hey, don't get up. We were just leaving. No wonder Twitchell was so evasive. Twitchell? You mean W.D. Twitchell of the Department of the Interior? Yeah, listen up, y'all. I just saw a report saying the government is sending someone to prove that aliens haven't been taking our neighbors. And that someone is none other than that Burt Gummer guy, the graboid hunter. Well, there he is. That's him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. government plant. I beg your pardon. You're a woman called. 